Do you still believe Mr. Baldwin was guilty? Um, I, you know, that, that has never been a decision for me. That has always been a decision for the jury. Did you let the Hutchins family down? Uh, no, we didn't. We did everything humanly possible to bring justice uh, to Helena and to her family, and we're proud of the work that we did. Uh, again, we disagree with the court's decision, but we have to respect it. Well, Mitchell Ebner is a former U.S. federal prosecutor. He joins us now from New York. What do you make of the move by this judge to dismiss the charges against Alec Baldwin? I, I think the judge was well within her discretion in responding to truly abysmal conduct by the prosecutor. Um, uh, the prosecutor you just had on screen, uh, Carrie Morrissey, she may say she's proud of what she did, but she should be covered in shame. Mm. The ruling came after the Baldwin's lawyers alleged police hid evidence of the source of the live rounds that killed Ms. Hutchins. How critical was that to this case? It was one of the two major questions in the case. The two questions were, number one, how did live ammunition get into that gun? And number two, did Alec Baldwin pull the trigger? And on question number one, it appears that the prosecution has put in jail um, an individual, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, who may or may not actually be guilty of the crime because they hid evidence that there might be a second person who was the source of those live rounds. Mm. As you said, you covered in shame for the prosecutor. How would you describe the actions of law enforcement agents during this trial? It is a complete derogation of their duties. Uh, the United States Supreme Court has made it very clear that law enforcement and prosecutors have not an obligation to get a conviction, but an obligation to bring justice. They have completely and totally failed in that obligation here. The ruling that they... And we'll never know what the... Let me just mm. be clear. Mm. I don't know what the truth is. Mm. The jury will never be in a position to determine what the truth is because these law enforcement officers and prosecutors did not do their duty. Mm. And the ruling that these charges cannot be filed again, what's the significance of that then? Uh, that means that unless this were to be overturned on appeal, that Alec Baldwin will never face a jury on the very important question of whether or not he acted criminally in leading to the death of the person who we should not forget, Helena Hutchins. Mm. Um, she, she and her fan, she's dead, her family is suffering, and her family will never get a closure to the question of who's responsible. What's the likelihood of any appeal in this case, do you think? It's, it's too soon to say. It is truly bizarre that the other co-prosecutor on this case resigned apparently in protest today. Um, this was a special prosecutor who was brought in just for this case. So there will have to be a lot of um, higher ups who make a decision whether or not to try to appeal here. Um, but as I said at the beginning, and I want to make it absolutely clear, Special Prosecutor Carrie Morrissey should be coded in shame for what she did. Mm. What about the Hutchings family? What does this decision mean for them? It means misery. It means that they will never get an answer to the question of who's criminally responsible because the individual who's already in jail may be freed. I would not be surprised if she's freed. Alec Baldwin will never be put on trial for this and they are left with only questions.